How long this time? About seven and a half minutes. That's good. I guess so. No, it is because that means that they're moving further away. They could just be sporadic. I, I don't think they've been, I don't know, striking in any sort of order anyways. Well, the Germans bombed in a pattern. This isn't the Germans. And we're sure that TV doesn't work, right? We checked? Yes, I checked when we got in. I, I'm glad I ran into you. Thank you for pulling me in, by the way. Sure thing. I mean, you really didn't have to. Well, you know, you, you get into this mindset when you hear something like this happening. Right. Your mind just kind of takes over and I didn't want you to. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, well, I appreciate it. It's not that I, I don't care about you. <laughs> I understand. We just don't, you know. Know each other well. We're just neighbors, and I don't think we've ever spoken before. No, I think we did that one time. Did we? Yeah, uh, about uh, Diana not fixing the stoop. Right, the cracks. Yeah, the uneven step, the second one. I was always tripping over it. <laughs> well, anyways, I appreciate it. You're in the one bedroom, right? Nobody else up there with you? Just me and my cat. Oh god, is she still up there? Oh, no, uh, she bolted when the first explosion started. She uh, goes out the fire escape. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sure she's fine. I I'm sure she is too. Uh, animals just kind of have a sense about these things, you know? Yeah. I mean, I've always wanted a pet, but times like these, I'm glad I don't. Right. What's her name? Who? Your cat. Oh, Tabitha. What's she like? I don't really want to talk about her. Oh, oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. it's not really helping me. Absolutely. I'm sorry. No, no, don't be. I, uh, I have this nervous condition. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, when I get anxious, I talk a lot. Can't really stop. <laughs> that makes sense. It, it's helpful for me to just talk about anything other than the thing that's going on. When my wife was pregnant with our daughter, I could not stop talking. <laughs> Oh, I didn't know that was your wife. Yeah. The doctors had to kick me out of the delivery room when she was in labor. She was screaming at me, SHUT UP! SHUT THE FUCK UP! While she was in labor, giving birth to our little girl, and she's literally yelling at me to be quiet. That's funny. Yeah, it is. Um, it was. Where are they? Hmm? Uh, your wife and, and, your, and your daughter. I'm sorry, I, I don't know their oh, names. no, no, it's okay. Um, they made it up. They did? Yeah. How come you're not with them? I didn't get back in time. They were waiting for me and I didn't get back. Wow. Sorry. They're safe. That's all that matters. Where were they going? The coast. It's where we agreed to meet. Jacob Reese or Long Beach, and I'll get there when I can. Okay. It's safe? Hope so. What was your plan? How do you mean? Where, where were you gonna go? Oh, nowhere. You weren't gonna go anywhere? No. Not really. I, I, I was going to the bodega. When I walked out and found you? Yeah. You weren't trying to escape the city? No, I was gonna wait it out. Well, it's pretty stupid. No, it's it's safer here than anywhere else. There are bombs going off out there. You were just gonna wait it out? Sure, what else is there to do? Go to loved ones? Run? I, I don't have anyone else. How is that possible? I don't know. Most of my family is passed and I was an only child. Oh, sorry. It's all right. I was always going to be all right. I've never needed anyone else. I mean, I guess when you grow up that way, you become accustomed to it. But I, I do appreciate you pulling me back in. I, I didn't know they were going to come this deep into Brooklyn. I mean, I don't think they're very selective about where they hit. I just wish we could get some more information. And cell service is out as well. Damn it. Sounds like they're coming back this way. Is there any, I don't, I don't know, uh, supplies in this room? I mean, most of them would be in the kitchen, but when that wall collapsed, I don't think we can get in without damage. Anything in here, like, like granola bars or something? Uh, oh, <laughs> Nellie's back. Oh, 
gross. <laughs> Nancy would always pack her lunch. She was trying to get her to be healthier, and uh, she called raisins candy grapes. That's stupid. Thought it was working, but apparently not. Looks like she just threw them back in her bag. Well, it's something. So, have you always lived alone? Uh, in this building, yeah. Where'd you live before this? Um, Bay Ridge, further east. Um, I had a roommate there. Why'd you move? Uh, we had, well, uh, I don't know what you would call it. Um, a falling out, I guess. About what? Believe it or not, the dishes. Whether or not to do them? You're going to think that this is ridiculous, um, but about the correct way to wash forks. Is there an incorrect way to wash forks? Yes. Yes, there is. Oh, okay. You have to get in between the spikes. You have to get the crap that gets in between there. Uh, there are so many germs and so much bacteria just in between each one. If a fork has four spikes, Right? Then there has to be three other spaces where you have to clean even deeper. And because we use forks to stab things, every time you stab an item, you, you just leave a little bit behind. Think of it this way. You know those um, things that um, pick up hay? What are those called? Um, those rake things? What the fuck are those things? Seriously, what the fuck are they called? Dear God, I, this thing is fucking with my brain and I can't remember words very well. Anyways. Uh, they, they, they pick up the hay and there's hay left behind. Either rakes. You, you, you rake leaves into a pile. There are always leaves that get stuck in the teeth of the rake and you have to use your hands to get those leaves out. And the same thing happens with forks. That's why you need a scrubber with a handle and a lot of soap and you really got to get in there and you can't just take a sponge and soap and just run over the fork like that. I mean, you, you can't just expect all of the germs and, 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 and bacteria to go away and this roommate she was so bad at washing forks she would she would just I would just watch her and she would just <laughs> and, and so I said to her hey could you wash that better and she said better and I said yeah and she said are you saying that I don't know how to do the dishes and I said kindly really nice mm. apparently not Apparently, you do not. And I'll show you how I would do it. And then I showed her that you gotta really, you gotta, you gotta really get in there. And then um, it, it, uh, it kind of just spiraled from there. Um, and she said I was super anal. And, and maybe it was about this. Maybe it was about washing forks. But, but it wasn't about a lot of other things. I, I didn't care if, if her hair got everywhere or if she wore smelly perfume or anything. I just wanted her to learn how to wash forks more efficiently. So yeah, it, yeah, I, I, I live alone now. Clearly. Not crazy. No, I didn't say you were. No, you're kind of implying that. No, no, I just think you're very passionate about fork hygiene. I am, I'll, I'll own that. How do you like living alone? It's okay. I I keep to myself anyways. You do? Yeah, I, I tend to get lost and I forget the little things and whenever stuff like this happens, I, it just highlights that. Highlights what? Oh, Jesus Christ. It highlights Jesus? Like the Lord? No, no, fuck. What's going on? I just realized, I think I left the oven on. What are you talking about? When, when, when you ran into me, I had the oven on. When I ran into you, we were on the street. Yeah, I was going to the bodega. Why would you leave your oven on if you were going to the bodega? Well, I was going to get a frozen pizza. That doesn't explain why your oven was on. I was going to make a frozen pizza, and then I realized that I didn't have one. And at that point, I really, really wanted one, so I just thought I'd leave the oven and run down to the bodega and get one. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. And then I think I left the oven on. Who the fuck cares? If it's still on, then the gas is building up, and with everything going on out there, it could just, you know... Why would you care about your oven right now? 
because I turned it on and I can't remember if I turned it off. Fuck, I, I gotta get out of here. What? Wait, and go where? I have to go find my wife. I have to go find Nellie. And I don't want to be trapped here with you anymore. With me? Why add that in? Here, I gotta go. Here, take, take some raisins. Stay as long as you want, but I have to go. There's nothing out there. They're still out there. They're waiting for me. <laughs> no, they're not. There's no way that they're still alive. Take that back. I won't. They are still out there. They're waiting for me. They, they're at the coast. <laughs> they're not. I just have to get to Jacob Reese, and as long as I can get to the beach, I'll be fine. <laughs> it's not safe. They're at the beach. I can make it there, and then we can come up with the next best thing. They already have hit the beach. The, 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 if Jacob Reese is right next to the airport, they would have hit there first. And even if your wife and daughter did manage to get out, you'll, you'll never make it to them. I can't not be with them. I can't not be with them. I just really hope I didn't leave the oven on. I thought you said you did. I, I might have turned it off. I, I just, when, when the explosion started, it's all sort of a blur. I suppose we'll know. <laughs> Soon enough. How long does it take for gas to fill up an apartment? Like, if I lit a match right now, we just... Oh, Jesus, fuck. What? I'm about to die with someone who thinks there's a right way to clean a fork. You know, I know you're upset, but you don't have to be mean. I know. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm the only one here, and I I'm with you. I'm sorry. You're right. I'm glad you're here. Thank you. And I, I really appreciate you pulling me in. Why do you care so much about the oven? Not sure. I mean, you brought it up a few times. Yeah. I mean, the likelihood of us dying from the bombs is much higher, so why care about the oven? I guess because it's something I can control, or, or could have controlled. Oh. We can only be in charge of, uh, of the things that we can control, right? Right. Like your daughter with the raisins. Right. Not sure. Two and a half minutes. Jesus. Well, I guess the forks don't really matter anymore. Well, maybe not. But did I leave the oven on? Because that's really going to eat at me.